I call the meeting on state and federal legislation to order. Good morning and welcome to today's hearing and vote. My name is Karen Koslowitz and I am the chairwoman of the state and federal legislation committee. On today's agenda, we will be considering seven home rules. First, however, I would like to introduce the members of the committee present at this time. We have Council Member Ben Kalos, Council Member Maisel, Council Member Perkins, and Council Member Landers. Is Donovan on? Right he's on, he's on. Okay. The first state legislative resolution this committee will be considering and voting on today is Senate Bill S6626 and Assembly Bill A8323 which would amend the real property tax law by adjusting the State Board of Real Property Services class equalization rule for one year only to cap the maximum class growth at 0% for New York City. This formula is used to determine the tax rates for each of the four classes of property. The effect of this change would be to reduce the amount by which the current base proportions for any class, including class one, one, two, and three family homes is allowed to grow, resulting in citywide savings of about $250 for a typical owner of a class one single family home. If it, do, if it does not pass, the council must adopt the default SBRPS formula and tax rates for class one residential home would rise six percent. The second state legislative resolution the committee will vote on is Senate Bill S5484A and Assembly Bill A7185A. This bill would make the wi widows and widowers of sanitation workers killed in the line of duty due to accidents eligible to receive accidental death benefits just as the surviving spouses of other members of the uniformed services, including the NYPD, FDMY, and New York City Correction Offices. A third state legislative resolution the committee will vote on is Senate Bill S5706 and Assembly Bill a7603. <clears throat> this bill would create a death benefit for the surviving spouses of EMTs employed by the FDMY killed while engaged in the performances of their duties. The fourth, fourth state legislative resolution the committee will vote on is Senate Bill S6703 and Assembly Bill A8305A. This bill authorizes the discontinuance of the use of certain park land in Flushing Meadow Park to permit the construction of a new pre-kindergarten facility in the proximity of the New York Hall of Science, which would provide opportunities for children to attend a program that focuses on science, technology, engineering, and math. <coughs> The fifth state legislative resolution the committee will vote on is Assembly Bill A8419 and Senate Bill S6721, which authorizes the discontinuance of the use as parkland of parkland in the city of New York, commonly known as the Marx Brothers Playground. The parkland will be transferred to the New York City Educational Construction Fund to permit the construction of a combined occupancy structure as defined in section 452 of the education law. The sixth state legislation resolution the committee will vote on is Senate Bill S6724 and Assembly Bill A8422, an act to authorize the city of New York to discontinue the use as parkland of a portion of Corporal Fisher Park in the borough of the Bronx and to sell and convey such land upon terms and conditions to facilitate the construction of affordable housing. 
The final bill is Senate S6044B and Assembly Bill A7798B. This bill will this bill seeks to amend the vehicle and traffic law in relation to expanding the school speed safety program by increasing the cap to 290 schools from the current cap of 140. At this moment, I would like to open the hearing to, to any of our committee members who want to make a statement. Anybody? <clears throat> Any witnesses? Any witnesses? Seeing none, let's call for a vote. Lee Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on state and federal legislation. Council member Kozlowitz. I abstain on Senate Bill S6044B and Bill A7798B, and I vote aye on all of the rest. Lander. Request permission to explain my vote. Madam Chair. Yes. Thank you. Um, I will be voting aye on all um, and with special enthusiasm for the SLR for Senate 6046B and Assembly 7798A, which increases the number of speed cameras outside schools from 140 to 290. And the short story is this bill will save kids' lives at those locations where school speed cameras have been installed. We've seen a 63% reduction in speeding, 13% fewer traffic injuries. The point of this bill, look, I wish we had a school speed zone in front of every school with a speed camera, but at least after all the work that's been done, I want to give enormous credit to Families for Safe Streets, especially um, the families of victims of traffic crashes who have devoted heart and soul for several years now in Albany. This would not be happening without them, and this council uh, is proud to have been their ally in so much work together, uh, and I'm proud that we're doing that again today. So thank you. I vote aye on all. Kalos. Permission to explain my vote. I'm tired of people dying in my district from preventable traffic accidents, not accidents, collisions. I have schools all over my district, I have 18 of them, and I have people dying in front of my schools, and people are speeding. And so it's with, with heavy heart that I support this legislation because I am calling on the mayor and the Department of Transportation to do what's right and put speed cameras in my district in front of my public schools and in front of areas around my public schools because just putting the camera in front of the public school isn't enough. Kids actually have to get to the public school and they have to cross entrances to the FDR Drive and other places like that. So. Uh, I, I am supportive of this legislation. I'm proud to vote in favor, but uh, I'm calling on the administration to investigate at least five locations for speed cameras in my district from this first batch of uh, 50, specifically in front of PS 158 at 78th Street and York Avenue, where Mano, who was the uh, deli person at a beloved uh, deli nearby, uh, died only at this point a month ago, and there's still flowers in front of his shop. 79th Street in York, where people continue to die. Uh, the York Avenue in uh, the 80s, where people continue to die. Uh, First Avenue, near the 96th Street entrance to the FDR Drive, immediately adjacent to Life Sciences and Co-op Tech, uh, and uh, on so many places. In my district, we hear about people dying from traffic collisions all the time, and that's a problem. I'd also like to voice my support for the spouses of our municipal employees uh, who die. Tragedy can strike at any time, and we do need to take care of their families, especially for folks who are the ones who run into danger uh, and help as emergency medical technicians and our sanitation workers who are doing amazing work. 
And last but not least, anything I can almost last, uh, pre-K seats, I'd love to have a STEM pre-K center in my district. And uh, with regard to, uh, I don't believe we have a, do we have a bill number on all of them? Pre-considered state and legislation reso number with regard to S6721A8419. Uh, with regards to the alienation of a playground across the street from my district to erect a 700-foot uh, tower. Uh, I make note of the fact that none of the local assembly members are sponsoring this legislation, and that is deeply troubling to me. Uh, I have heard from numerous residents in my district uh, that they oppose this project. Uh, however, it is literally across the street from my district and uh, in all deference to the uh, speaker uh, and the fact that each member should have the power in their own district, I uh, vote aye on all. Maisel. Yes. Reynoso. I make a quick claim my vote. I would be voting aye on all. Uh, I just want to make sure that uh, I'm extremely happy to see the amended uh, retirement and social security law from the state for sanitation workers. Uh, the sanitation workers have the most dangerous job in the city of New York when it comes to, um, to deaths. And I wanna make sure that we, we do everything we can to continue to assist those families um, that have to struggle through a tragedy um, like that. I also want to uh, acknowledge the fact that the speed cameras actually work. We have the data, we have the information and we have to allow the Department of Transportation almost full autonomy as to how they want to move forward with this program um, and, and let the experts do their job. Uh, and I trust wholly that the Department of Transportation would be able to do that, and I'm, I'm happy uh, to vote aye on the speed camera legislation as well. Again, I vote aye on all. Thank you very much, Chairwoman. Perkins. I vote aye on all. All items on today's agenda have been adopted by a vote of six in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions, with pre-considered M S six zero four six B and A seven seven nine eight B has been adopted by a vote of five in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and one abstention. We're going to keep this hearing open for a half hour. So all members can vote. Thank you very much. <laughs>